the way you write in the code is going to change forever. In today's video, we're going to talk about a cloud-based AI agent. Hey guys, my name is Vlad and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for your support. In this video, we're going to talk about OpenAI Codex agent. It's not just another AI tool, it's more than that. It's basically senior programmer that can work together with you. It's available 24 hours a day. It can generate, debug, and explain your code. It can do all of this while you drink your coffee or watch Netflix. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Codex. I recommend you watch this video till the end because you have to supercharge your development and this tool that you really, really need to know about. If you're ready, then let's get started. Codex is a cloud-based software engineering agent built by OpenAI. It can handle multiple coding tasks at the same time, like editing files, writing code, running tests, and even making complex changes across a whole code base. It's powered by OpenAI Codex model, but it's more than just code generation. Codex 1 acts like a real developer. It understands your report, work in the background, and keeps you updated. This is very different from all the tools like a GitHub Copilot or Good Gemini Code Assistant. Those tools complete code inside your code editor. While Codex One works in the cloud, reads your full project, and carry out tasks across many files. It's trained on public code from GitHub and understands many languages like Python, JavaScript, and more. So basically, you connect your repository with Codex, give it a task in simple English, you can give it multiple tasks at the same time, and then waiting for the result. You don't need to have your IDE, you don't need to have any environments on your computer. Codex will have everything for you. And once Codex finishes the task, you can create a pull request to your main repository and then merge the changes if you're satisfied with the result. It's pretty similar with Google Jewels that I reviewed earlier. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend you watch it. Here's the link. Currently, you can access Codex from ChatGPT website. Initially, it was available only for pro and enterprise customer, but a few days ago, OpenAI introduced it for Plus subscriptions as well. So if you have ChatGPT Plus, you can try Codex right now. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Codex. All you need is a ChatGPT Plus account and GitHub account, and any repository inside your GitHub account. Get started with Codex, open chatgpt.com website, and at the left sidebar, you will see this link, Codex. Simply click on it, and you will end up in the Codex website. To get started with Codex, simply click the Get Started button. Then you will see this simple intro. It just highlighted for you what actually Codex can do for you. Basically, it can debug an application, write a test, and even create the application from scratch. To get started, we need to connect the Codex with our GitHub account. In order to do that, simply click Connect GitHub Account button, then follow the instruction on the screen. And once you reach this step, you can give the access to Codex to all repositories or specific one. I personally like to give the access to specific repository for security purpose, but if you don't have any secrets in your repositories, then you can give access to everything. Okay, seems everything is connected. This is my repository, the name of this repository algorithms. I actually used it in my Google Jules tutorial, so it will be interesting to compare results from these tools. In the interface, you will see there is an agent internet access toggle. It refers to whether the Codex agent will have the access to the internet during the environment setup. If you keep it off, the Codex agent will not have the internet access. After the setup, it can only use dependencies and tools that were included in the setup script. This more secured and prevents it from downloading anything unexpected. If you decided to turn it on, the agent may use the internet during setup, for example, to install packages, 
but internet access will be disabled afterwards for safety. In short, it controls whether the AI can access the internet to install tools before it starts coding in a secure, isolated environment. This demo, I turn it off because it's unnecessary, but I believe they will be the cases where you need to turn it on just to make sure that the agent set up the environments correctly. Once you finish with these settings, select the repository from the list and click the create environment button. After that, you will see the suggestions from the codex regarding the tasks. You can select them all and then click the start tasks button. And after that, the codex will start working. Depends on size of the repository. Depends on the size of the repository and the complexity of the task. It could take one minute or even 30. But the good thing is you will get notification once the task is completed. As you could see, this is my tasks the codex is currently working on you don't have to keep this window open you can navigate to other sections on the website because everything is working at the background if you click at the environment link at the top right corner you will see all your environments that codex created so there is no hard cap on the number of environments you can create with the codex this i can't find any but what i noticed for each repository it will create a separate environment by clicking on the environments you can see the details of it can install different dependency touch environment variables and secret tokens and so also recommend you to visit data control menu make sure you turn off the the settings to train on your data okay let's go back to our coding tasks in the top right corner you will see how many tasks is running right now you can click on this icon and see additional details clicking on the specific task you end up in the task view and in that view if task is finished you will see the details what was added and what was removed as you can see one of my tasks is finished it was related to finding some bug in my code seems codex found something and suggest the fix okay let's go back to our home page and this time i will write my first prompt and i will ask codex uh, to add a web interface for my repository let's see what codex can do for us uh, for some reason my task is failed you will face the same experience simply click on that task and then in the left sidebar click retrieve button okay this time seems everything is okay you can see what codex is doing right now and once it's finished you will be able to create a pull request to do that simply click the create a pull request button at the top right corner unfortunately inside the codex you won't be able to edit the code so you have to accept what codex gives you and lately you can modify it by yourself if needed okay let's see if the codex create pull request and as you could see the pull request is here okay let's try to check the result i'm going to pull everything on my computer and run the application okay and this is the result you could see this is the simple web interface for my algorithms repository i didn't specify good instructions that's why i've got this result check if it's working and look like it's working fine i believe you can try to improve the interface even further simply use the chart inside the codex provide better instructions and you will get the better result and that's it as you can see it's so easy and simple to use Give it a shot. Share with me your feedback and comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Like and share this video with your coworkers and colleagues because it could help them be more efficient. And if you want to see the video where I compare Codex versus Jules, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope to see you, yes, you, in my next videos. Bye.